So here we have our container. We have some leftover steaks from last night. That's blue cheese on there. We got a good sear and everything, but we want to warm them up without over drying them or anything like that. We want our steaks to remain nice and moist. So all you're going to do is put these into our wire rack and our sabi container. So that's our wire rack. You just press them right on down. Dry your hands off. Then we'll just pop the lid right on. It has a nice little hole here for your sous vide to slide into. So next, we're gonna take our one clove sous vide. This has a lever here, but I like putting it all the way down, so you have to open it up a little bit. Then you just take it, plug it right into the wall, plug it in, It'll click right on, then you just set your temperature. So this is 94 degrees Fahrenheit right now. We want that to be much warmer than that. So we'll set this to 140. Tap the button, that'll be your time. And I want this to cook for, since these are already cooked and I'm just warming them up, I just want them to be warm for dinner. I'm gonna set this up to two and a half hours and you just press the start button here, you'll hear it turn on, not very loud, and that's all it does. You'll slowly see this temperature start to rise as it starts to circulate and filter the water around, and then your steaks will be perfectly 140 degrees or whatever you set it to. And that timer will actually start once the water reaches that 140 temp, and then it will not go over the 140. So really, really cool machine. I love the sous vide. It's a great way of cooking many different kinds of meats and things, but I would highly, highly recommend trying this out. Um, really good, especially for rewarming up food. If you put it in the oven or the microwave, a lot of time it gets dried out, but this way it stays nice and moist and juicy. Go ahead and check it out. All right, so we just pulled them out. They sat in there. Cut it open and perfect steak.